In today's interview, I chat with Tammy Tate from Social Media Camp in Canada. We discuss how the pandemic has affected her business and her path forward. Listen to this and more inspiring business stories from Extraordinary Woman. So today I'm interviewing Tammy and Tammy is from Canada. So we've got another international to the business social media camp. Is that right, Tammy? That is correct. So tell us a little bit about what uh, social media camp is. Perfect. Well, nice to meet you. Or not meet you. We actually met in a conference together. Um, so thanks for inviting me to do this with you. Um, social media camp is a conference uh, and it uh, started 11 years ago uh, by two gentlemen here in Victoria. So I'm in Victoria, BC, Canada. And they started it when really social media was kind of new. And so the camp was uh, innovative. I think it was the first one ever in Canada uh, and grew a nice following and things like that. But last year they decided to actually sell the conference. So I purchased it. Bad timing to buy a, can a conference this year, but um, it, it was going to be an amazing conference. Uh, and the goal of the conference is it's focused towards social media um, marketers. So it's either people who have a marketing agency or do marketing for a living, or also just people who are learning social media, have a small business, know they need to be doing social media. So we had three different streams. It was kind of like the beginner, intermediate, advanced, so that it really tries to focus around everybody's needs in social media. Right. So have you always been um, in that kind of business, social media marketing? Yeah, no, I, I come by it very strange ways. Like I think all of us who did <laughs> who land up in marketing, uh, back in the day, I actually got a bachelor's degree in recreation administration and a master's degree in sport administration. So I was definitely on a different path, but I was really into events. I loved events and um, so I did a lot of event work and started my own event company 20 something years ago. Uh, as the event person, I loved logistics and operations. So that's why I started this company was to be able to do the events and the, and the uh, do all the logistics. But as with any consultant and contractor, usually you start putting on way too many hats. So I started doing sponsorships and marketing and all those different aspects that come with uh, being an event planner. And about in 2013 2014 i was just finding that i was getting burnt out from doing events that have been almost 20 years at that point mm -hmm. so i really like the marketing side so i decided okay well, let's let's change it a little bit and i went into the marketing and social media and opened a new company called 365 day media group and that one is specifically for social media and marketing and we um, market and do the social media for a number of different clients a lot of them are event clients so putting on big running events and stuff like that uh, so I've done that for the last five years we're coming up to our fifth year anniversary and then this last year um, the business of social media camp came up for sale and um, someone said to me oh you do events and you do social media maybe you should try taking on this event that's a social media conference and so there I was <laughs> yeah Yes, yeah, so with all that's happened um, lately in the world, um, what I know, I know you were going to have your conference, was it in May? Yeah. How have you handled that? Lots of tears. <laughs> um, you know, it was, uh, it was so interesting because the timing for us, um, with our conference being May 4th, or 5th to 7th, uh, when everything hit here, in March. So we basically got the notice that March 16th, we were going into quarantine, lockdown, everything like that. Mm -hmm. So right away, we knew that the conference was going to be affected because it wasn't going to be able to plan for further. And we were just at that part, point where we were getting registrations were starting to climb because it was two months out from the event. Uh, we had everything lined up, the speakers, everything so it was going great um so we originally when we decided to that we weren't able to have a live we tried to pivot it to be a virtual event um but it was too early people didn't understand what a virtual event was going to look like uh, they were 
feeling they were going to get ripped off that, you know, how dare I keep their money. The whole part of going to an event is to be seen together and network and, and learn that way. They didn't want to do it in their pajamas from their home <laughs> and things like that. People who had kids were worried that their kids were going to be home. They'd never be able to concentrate. And we were going to do the webinar, not like we weren't just going to do a simple zoom. Like we were going to actually have the speakers come into Victoria or Vancouver um, Toronto and have camera crews filming them. So we were going to go all out with it. Uh, but even that became not a reality once we knew we could even be in proximity of each other. And we, I just was getting, my heart was not um, feeling good. I knew there were lots of small businesses that were struggling and were scared and they hadn't even started struggling yet. They just knew it was coming. Yeah. So we decided to cancel the conference and provide options for refunds. So that was kind of the um, heartbreak, uh, but uh, my speakers were amazing. They have all come back to sort of say, you know, we'll be back next year, but also what can we do to help you this year while you, you know, I'm, I'm without a, a, an event to be able to promote and stuff. So they have helped me. We have pivoted to having a social media club now yeah. called SM Club. And so people, when they, they could either option to have a refund or they could option to have a partial refund and then get a membership in our club. And we now offer two webinars and a Q&A session per month. And most of the speakers have been ones that were lined up to be a speaker at social media camp. So it's great. It's growing slowly, but um, we haven't really marketed very hard yet because we were kind of, we were literally making it up as we were going like, okay, we got to pivot. We got to pivot really fast <laughs> as everybody's had to do in this time. Right. So it's been an interesting climb and I've learned a whole bunch more than I ever thought I would. So do you think that in some respect that might have been a little bit beneficial? Yeah, you know, I um, definitely having learned so much more, definitely have figured out for my business um, with 365 Day Media Group, with my 90% of my clientele being events, it's made me realize I can't keep all those eggs in one basket. I need to figure out a way to um, make sure that when it's something like this, continue, or we don't even know how long it's going to be before we can have events and stuff. So I can't keep building my company based on, yay, events for the future. So I've learned lots with that. Um, but we were lucky. My team all works remotely. So we were already had the systems in place to be able to work remotely. So that part wasn't too hard. But uh, yeah, crazy times. <laughs> So um, how many, what, what speakers have you got lined up for um, going forward for your online? Yeah, so um, this week, you know, we've got uh, um, a woman here in Victoria who's, so art, we, have, we call them campfire sessions. And so we talk to local businesses and do sort of a Q&A with them. So this one is, uh, she took a, a small brand uh, that was kind of going down and she's flipped it on its and made it become really popular and it's a peanut butter who would think that we'd have a peanut butter brand person here in, in victoria but she's got a great story about how she took this and has you know the, the the fails and everything else and she was really affected with covid because she was going down to her she'd been building the company she's going to this huge expo down in the states that's sort of like the food place it's the one you go to so she'd been had all everything ready to go and literally stopped right on the button that was going to be their big launch out of the product and stuff so um she's going to be speaking we've got um oh my goodness off the top of my head uh we have speakers talking on branding we've got um this month we've got facebook ads a speaker talking on facebook ads um sullivan from jelly marketing uh we have um oh i know it social media marketing world did you go to mike's session mike um uh kim he did a talk on email list building. Don't think. Oh, copywriting. He's copywriting. Okay. And okay. I don't imagine he's, he was one of my favorite sessions when we went to social media marketing world. And when we were at the function, the night, the, the party with the, the costumes, <laughs> when we were there, I walked up to him and said, I really enjoyed your session. And he said, Hey, and I said, I want you to come to my conference next year. So um, and he was like gung ho for sure. So I actually, when all this happened, I emailed him and said, look, I'm still looking for speakers to be on part of my webinars. And he said, yeah, no problem. I'm all be there. So he's doing a copywriting session, which I'm really excited about because everybody needs help with their copywriting and he's very vivacious. Uh, we have a woman named, um, 
uh, I can think of her, I can always think of people's handles rather than their actual names. Uh, but she's all about your speaking voice. Um, I am Gamble. I am, I can't, I'll have to look it up. But it was, um, and she's speaking in August. So yeah, really excited because we've got this huge variety of different types of topics that are, uh, and we keep asking our club members, like, what are you looking for? And they're excited to, you know, share what they're really struggling with. Uh, with their social media and stuff like that so it's fun. so can um, people join the club now still yeah it's a yearly membership so when they sign up we're offering it at a crazy low price just because um, the goal of it really wasn't a big revenue thing for me it was really just to keep those that were in social media camp engaged and continuing to think about social media camp for next year uh, offer us an opportunity to get the speakers who had already committed their time to give them some exposure uh, so uh, we're, it's like 157 dollars for a year and you get well you'll get 24 webinars and 12 q a so you're getting a lot a lot of stuff so yeah so and that's canadian um so we and then you get the back the back of all the webinars we've had so far so it's it's been good it's fun yeah so the canadian dollar is probably not as bad as the u.s <laughs> That's just about dad uh, knocks the socks off of us <laughs> yeah you're just about paying double yeah mm. yeah so um because you've um been through a little bit of um you know well, quite a bit of struggle and come out the other side with other people that maybe are going through a similar thing you know small business owners do you have any advice on how to you know get through this um, situation you know realizing that you know perhaps their business is um, needs to change yeah it's um, it's really sad to watch uh, you know and so many business, some businesses have done so well They've either pivoted well, or they've had a business that could pivot well, or it wasn't affected anyways. Uh, but like our tourism industry, Victoria is a huge tourism industry, and it's just absolutely killed the tourism industry. And then it's all those side things, that, the little things that go down from there that you don't think about, like, okay, well, that cruise ship's not coming in. So that means all the little stores aren't getting the people or the wedding industry no longer. We have a lot of um, people come here for location weddings or the fact that you can't even have a wedding because you have the small groups and stuff. So that means the tent companies don't have business. That means the food caterers don't have business. Like the trickle down effect is so immense uh, that a lot of people don't see all those little the other people that are being affected by it so um with uh sort of some of the tips we've i've had to do a cancel a lot of events and so i've become a queen of messaging and uh try, try, trying to make it sound positive like oh we're just postponing for a year we're not canceling uh but you know in terms of trying to find that other like having to do some changes to your um event like i we had thought about maybe doing a membership club for social media camp down the road, but it wasn't something we were definitely thinking about doing right now. We were just trying to make the conference go. So having to do that so quickly, um, I mean, taught us a lot, but it, it did allow us to have at least something to continue going forward with. So it's, you know, what can they pivot to? How can they do things online? How can they become a resource um, for, you know, different businesses and, and things like that? So, it really depends on the business they're in and whether they can, you know, bring back all the costs that they can, but just, you know, keep that social media going or keep a little bit of things going so that you still are seen as a resource or, or not forgotten when things settle back down again. Yeah. Staying top of mind. Yeah. That is the big one. Cause you know, we, we forget with social media and algorithms and all that fun stuff that if we go away for a while, it takes a while to be back again. So even with my canceled events, we've been going, okay, we now have to come up with content for another 16 months before we can potentially have another event. So what are the heck are we going to talk about for 16 months to keep people, you know, remembering the event and stuff. So doing a lot of rewriting of marketing plans right now and our strategy for all our clients and things like that. It's like, wow, who knew? <laughs> yes, exactly. Who knew? <laughs> that uh, the world was going to stop, kind of. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought? Yeah, we're, we're fortunate, I guess, in New Zealand that businesses started back up and we can do the 
events and things, but of course our industry is a lot of tourism. And I can tell you that here in my household, rugby is a is a huge thing. So having the rugby to watch is like they're like so happy to be <laughs> there's somebody playing sports and it's rugby. We can actually watch it. Uh, my husband's a university rugby coach, so their oh. season. Yeah, and their season's been canceled for sure until at least January. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So. And it's cold anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's warm. We never get cold. But you guys. Do which? Um, January, won't it be cold for you guys? Um, We're in Victoria, so we are like the, uh, we don't get that bad. We hardly get snow. We get maybe once a year for a couple days. Last year we had snow for a day and it melted by that afternoon, so it's like. So we're not too bad. It is cold though. Being a being a spectator is worse, I think. <laughs> um, so hopefully next year your conference will be back. And what um, would you say to some small business owners about why they should attend your conference? Hmm. Yes, well, um, and hopefully they can travel and come to it. Uh, but I think with the conference, and we had really done a um, a real look at the rebrand and we bring, we're bringing in some very interesting keynote speakers. Um, probably you wouldn't know who Jillian Harris is, but up here, uh, she's an influencer uh, who's been on TV shows and stuff. So people were really excited to be able to see her. So we've brought in those types of people. So we were looking at it from, we were bringing in speakers that were going to talk sort of as the, their story, tell their story and things like that. Uh, because that's really an important part of social media and marketing is telling those stories. And it's not just about, you know, the brand, it's the story behind the brand. So we were getting some very interesting people that way, but then we also had streams. So if you were a beginner who knew, I know I need to do social media, but I really don't even know how to start. We had a whole stream that was for beginners. So it would walk you through Instagram and Instagram stories and Facebook advertising and all that kind of stuff up to the advanced side. So people that do it for a living, um, they could take that stream. So I know in the past I had gone and there weren't streams. And so I'd be in a session going, oh, I I actually know what a hashtag is. I don't need to be here. Yeah. Or I'd be in a session where they would be using so much terminology. I'd look around the room and these poor people would be like, I don't even know what that means. And I think we've all been in sessions like that at conferences and stuff. So that was really what I was trying to make sure that we had a very different stream so that people could still go to anyone they wanted, but they kind of knew, okay, if I'm going to this one, they're going to throw out terms that I might not know and I'm going to have to Google them afterwards. Uh, and then we have lots of fun. We've got had some fun parties planned and we have a local gin company here in town who was actually one of our first campfire story speakers for our SMC club. They make a gin called Empress Gin and I have had way too much Empress Gin over the last uh, three, three months, uh, but uh, uh, so they're a local heroes. They're, people love their story and stuff like that. So they were going to be part of the whole um, event too. So I think that's probably, you know, it's, it's got something for everybody to come to the social media um, camp and then coming to Victoria, it's a pretty nice place. So uh, we are pretty, uh, we're tourism friendly for sure. And so it's a, it's a really nice spot to come to. And it's in May, so it's a, a nice time of year here. Cool. Um, was there anything else that maybe you'd like to mention or? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm always got questions I want to ask back to you and how things are with, how are you guys, how are you finding things there and with business and things like that, but. Yeah, so I'm just trucking along, um, working on some um, courses um, for my clients and yeah, um, I think people like some business owners probably, um, yeah, finances are probably a bit tight for a lot of people. We've had quite a few redundancies. So I think that has a, a bit of an impact and they're talking about that we're heading for a recession if we're not already in one. So, yeah. No, it's very interesting. That, and what I'm finding hard right now um, is that things that would be normally be offered, like all these conferences have gone to virtual events. So now all of a sudden I'm competing for the future with like these virtual events that are big money to go to normally, they've turned them into virtual and they're offering them for really cheap prices or lots of free information being put out there um, 
And so you're kind of like, ah, oh, but I kind of need to have somebody buy some of my, my product because <laughs> I, I can't afford to keep doing all these free ones. So it's been a very interesting, it's got very crowded in the, in the industry, I think right now, like in terms of what, um, like what people are offering. So, and people are noticing that marketing and social media are very important in these times. So there are more and more experts, experts coming out as we're trying to build things too. So I think uh, courses will never, I don't think you can go wrong by still developing courses and webinars and things like that. So like you doing this is a great idea because people need to be still connecting with as much as they can and figuring out a way to make it work. So uh, becoming an expert and finding that new expertise is uh, really important. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if people are interested in looking you up in your business, where can they find you? Yeah, so our website's um, socialmediacamp.ca. Uh, that is our um, the social media camp. And then also, and that also has information on the SMC Club. It's one of the tabs on um, socialmediacamp.ca. And then my other company is 365daymediagroup.ca. So we're, we're, we can be found everywhere, <laughs> but we're all <laughs> .cas. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time today. Great. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's so nice to see you again and, uh, and have this opportunity. You're so welcome.